My first question will go to His Excellency Mr. Edward Watson. Sports, especially football, is the key channel for people-to-people -people exchange. And football, indeed, has been a major medium for friendship between countries. And we know that increasingly, China and its citizens are beginning to develop love for football, just as football seems to be the passion of the nation for Ghanaians when it comes to sports. China has indeed invested heavily in infrastructure development in Ghana when it comes to sports. Um, the Cape Coast Sports Stadium is testimony to that fact. We know that um, a lot of Chinese have tried to invest internationally in football clubs across the world. And we all know that the Chinese are on the verge of, you know, getting into European football and trying to, you know, make it a home for them in terms of investment. So you talk of clubs like Atletico Madrid, you talk about clubs like Espanol, Slavia Prague. These are teams that have Chinese investors, you know, playing a part in there. I would like to find out if there is a deliberate um, effort from your high office, um, solicited or unsolicited from the FA or the club owners, to have you pitch Ghana football to some of the investors out there so they could actually support some of our local clubs. Because we know the challenge here in football when it comes to financing football clubs. Most of the club owners don't seem to have the financial muscle to deal with football clubs. I would like to know if indeed the, your high office has been able to reach out to some investors to invest in football locally here in Ghana. Uh, yes, um, Ebenezer, Raymond, thank you very much. Can you hear me? I can hear you, sir. Okay. Um, as I said earlier, we have worked on, we've started work on it. I mean, the last time I was in Ghana, I had meetings with the new FA president, Keto Kriku, whom I know very well, and his team, and we discussed some of these issues. In fact, as I said earlier, one of the events we had planned for this 60th anniversary was a proposed soccer match between one of the Chinese national, Chinese um, premier teams or the national team and a team or our national team in Ghana. We're going to have one match in Ghana and one match in China. Unfortunately, it had to be cancelled because of COVID-19. So these are some of the um, things that we are looking at. We do have a few Ghanaian players um, in the Chinese Premier League. Um, unfortunately, we don't have our AAA stars, but if you know, um, Asamoah Jan came to play in China, and we've had a few. I've met some of the players myself. Um, Chinese soccer is also in its developmental stage. So they also are working hard to improve it, but obviously they do understand we have the talent, we have some resources that we can work together. So when I come back, I'm going to engage Kurt more, and we're going to look at ways through which China and Ghana can um, develop and help each other in the area of soccer management. But my objective is not only with soccer. I think we have the opportunity to develop our entire sports spectrum. There are some areas of sports that I believe we have a competitive advantage, which we can work with the Chinese on. One is track and field. In the 60s, Ghana had very good athletes. These are areas we can work on. Another area is gymnastics. We can also work on that very well. Another area is table tennis. But last year, we, together with um, Standard Bank, we were looking at bringing some Chinese um, ping pong coaches to Ghana. And unfortunately, COVID-19 sort of, uh, we, we had to postpone it. But these are all things that we've started. So we are looking at the whole sports spectrum and not only soccer. But as far as soccer is concerned, um, we will work closely with the Chinese because they do also recognize that we have the skill and the talent. And um, as of two days ago, we were the Director General of Guangdong Province and soccer development was one of the things that we were also talking about. And as you know, I also love soccer. I used to own a team. Eleven Wise was my company team. For a long time we owned it so i have a, a, long, a, a deep interest in the development of soccer in um in, in ghana but um 
we have to look at all the parameters and see where we can work on. But the, the, the tax, the big tax of soccer development really is for us Ghanaians, for you and I, to take it up and make sure that we can do it. We can get help from other people, but the job is ours to do. So that, that's what I would say. Thank you. Thank you very much, Your Excellency.